Welcome back to our bitch YouTube channel. Today's class, I got to learn how to make this beautiful fruit top. Okay, it's almost same that you don't need to sew too much with it. And this is what it looks like on this side. You can leave it open like I have mine, or you can just close it down. I'm going to be explaining how to do that in this video. It's a very simple video and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is a very simple blouse tutorial. Please, pardon my markings. So the measurement you will need is your center back measurement from your center back all the way to your wrist area. Okay, for me that measurement is 30 inches. So that's what you're going to use to cut your fabric. And you know, this is just for one half of the back. So for the other half of the back, you need 30 inches as well. And that's going to give you 60 inches for the back and 60 inches for the front. And then after that, you need your length measurement. So that length is going to be from your shoulder all the way to maybe your hip length. That's where, wherever it is that you need your length to stop. So those are the two major measurements that you need. I'm going to be using this fabric. It's like a lycra fabric. And this, this is not going to be needing a lot of sewing okay so there's not going to be any side seam it's going to be really simple and easy to make okay so my fabric is folded into four like we usually fold when we are not going to have any shoulder seam and if you notice here you can see that the way i folded my fabric they're not going to have any you're not going to have any shoulder seam so it's like folding into two like this and this is going to be where the shoulder is you can see that it's joined together this is the front and this is the back and then i'm going to fold again into four so that i can cut it out easily so now i have my front and back folded so this is exactly what i have done here so now the next thing now is to mark out my neckline so for the back it's just going to be a small neckline while i'm going to have a v neckline for the front so the neck which i'm working with is going to be around three and a half i don't want it too wide because this is a bit stretchy and then the neck depth for my back is going to be one and a half inches and then for the front i'm going to be going for a neck depth of seven inches okay so this is my neck curve for the back you can use the curve for this and then for the front is going to be a v neckline so this is what i have now i'm just going to bring in my scissors and then cut the back neckline first then i'm going to separate the back from the front so now let me just remind us that this from here all the way down is the total length that i want for my blouse which is around my hip measurement so i have 27 inches here and then i added one inch for aiming so i have 28 inches and then from here all the way to that side is my center back to my wrist which is 30 inches for me okay so i hope you understand that so now i'm separating the back from the front and then i'm going to cut out the front v neckline as well so you have to do this carefully you don't want to make any mistake while doing this and then you make sure that you separate your back very well so that you don't cut it together with the front mistakenly so i'm just taking it together once i have it separated like this i'll bring in my scissors and then cut out my v shape for the front so now this is sorted i'm going to arrange it back so now it's totally up to you like i said you don't really have to do much for this you don't need to sew too much so on the sleeve area you can just measure your sleeve opening which is going to be measured around your uh, your wrist area here so i have nine inches that's four and a half divided by two so now here i'm just going to measure around five and a half inches i'm adding one inch seam allowance to that so you can actually do this without sewing the side but in case of raising hams i'll just want my side seam to be closed so now to close this i'm just going to come in by come out come in was by around one to one and a half inches so that i can aim my sleeve and then from there i'm just going to sew it straight down like this all the way to the hem so i'm going to cut this out now well, like I said, if you want, if you want it to be like a phone show, you can just leave the side open 
okay since it's a free blouse it's just going to it's going to work but i'm closing my side that's why i have it like this and this is going to be the opening where my wrist comes out so now this is what i have i'm just going to take this to the sewing machine now and then i'm going to go ahead and then i'm going to sew it from here all the way to the hem and then here i'm going to close up the wrist area so you do the same thing for the other side as well and then you turn your neckline with either a bias or you use a facing for it and then you sew it on the m you hem the m line of the blouse as well so i'll go ahead now and do this on my sewing machine and then i'll bring it back for us to see what it looks like okay so this is what the beautiful blouse looks like you can see how simple it is so it's just going to give you a high low effects kind of you can see the center is is hot while the side is just going to drop down because of the ham that is dropping down so i just decided to close it a little bit okay you can see i just closed it a little bit here and then left it open here because i don't want the breeze to be blowing it anyhow you can see what it looks like on the side and this is the other side okay you can see how simple it is to make this beautiful top and how beautiful it looks so this is what it looks like on the back okay it's very similar to what you have in front it's very simple i can just wear this with a trouser or whatever it is that you want to wear with it i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it tell us in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye Okay.